Today's video is for those of you just starting out with the, your Back to Eden garden. I'm sure you've seen the film, so you know what 30 plus years of gardening this way looks like. But what is it going to look like your first year, and your second year, and your third year, and so on? Well, it looks different for everybody, but I thought in today's video I would show you what it looks like after our fourth year, and after our third year, and after our second year, and after our first year. Okay, so this is our first section that we ever did back to Eden. It was four years ago, four summers ago, that we did this. So here I am, six inches deep, and let me see if you can't look down in there. So I would say about three inches is black, it's all compost, and then past that is our orange or red clay of eastern North Carolina. So in four years, we've gone from pure red clay to uh, three inches of good, I don't know, black composted, whatever you want to call it, soil. Um, so we covered this area three years ago. You can see, um, well, and the wood chips being deep or shallow was just because I added less wood chips over in the other area and more on this area. So that has nothing to do with the soil. But you can see on top it's, you know, fresh and it's more decomposed. You dig down. So that's six inches deep. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Uh, okay, in this area... I would say about four inches um, is the first four inches after the mulch, the first four inches of compost or soil is nice and black. Um, and that just, you know, that just goes to show it's different areas react differently to this. Um, and before, previous to this, this was just grass. And the other section that was uh, that we covered four years ago, that was actually covered in tarp. So I don't know if maybe this section is better because it was already had the grass base to fertilize it. Um, but anyway, so that's that. Mm -hmm. This is two years ago. We covered this two years ago with tarp, or not with tarp, I'm sorry, with wood chips. And before that, it was just um, grass. And this, I would say, can you get down in there? I would say the first two inches, one and a half inches, is uh, black soil. Brown, black. <laughs> it's looking good. And then you have clay underneath. Now, we did not add any uh, chicken manure to this area, so let me show you a section that we covered two years ago that we did add chicken manure to. Okay, we covered this two years ago with with wood chips but before we did that we emptied out the coop and put chicken manure on this so let's see if there's a difference I can already tell there's a difference but let me go ahead and dig down okay so if you can look down in that hole with wood chips and chicken manure, it just really makes a big difference. I don't see any clay, and I've gone down six inches. Oh, I see clay right at the six inches. So I would say about five inches of um, good composted wood chips mixed with chicken manure down in there. And then your sixth inch is still hard clay. And that was two years ago. Okay, this was last year. We covered this section last year. And it was just grass before. And we did not put down chicken manure. We just put down wood chips. Let's see down here. No, we did put down a lot of wood chips because it was grass. So it's a lot of wood chips. You can see the side. It's just decomposed wood chips with Bermuda grass still <laughs> coming through. Um, let's see. You can see down. I'm getting to I'm getting to clay now. 
So I would say probably about three inches deep I'm getting to clay. And this is no manure. And so, I mean, you can just see, just wanted to show you how it gets better with each year. Not every section is going to respond. Not every part of the United States or the world is going to respond the same. Um, you can just see that's the diversity of creation. And, but just cover and it will get better because like I said, this was all red clay before now. So wood chips are great. There's no denying that. But I did want to talk about the value of uh, manure or compost as well. This section is a section that we covered with wood chips last year, but never covered with manure. And I planted pole beans, which are getting eaten by bean beetles. And then I also planted corn, which is just not growing very well in this section. Now let me show you another section. This section was covered just this winter, so not even, uh, let's see, it hasn't even had six months being covered with wood chips, but we cleaned out the chicken coop, and so we covered this with chicken manure first, then wood chips. And you can see the, plant, the corn was planted at the exact same time as that other corn I just showed you, and you see how wonderfully it's doing. And then we've also, we cleaned out the chicken coop and we're just kind of putting manure around so that when it rains, it'll get some compost tea. And the last thing I wanted to show all you new people out there was our strawberry bed. We, this is our third, I think, winter of covering it with wood chips, just like Paul shows, just enough to, to cover them. Not, we're not trying to bury them super deep. And they come back luscious. There's not an old or, um, you know, weak one in the bunch. Only the new, strong ones come back. All the old ones just die and decompose. So I highly recommend doing that. We are, just in case you're wondering, if you see the boards on the side, we are still, still dealing with whatever is stealing our strawberries. Um, it keeps digging. But we have set up a camera and we are hoping to catch it one of these days. We, we've we seen its bottom and we've seen its whiskers, but we still can't tell what it is. So I will keep you updated on that. So in the meantime, cover your ground. Do not till it. Tilling it is killing it. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.